Hi, I'm Smiljana and this is Peter Smiljana Qigong channel. This video is about a fundamental stance called bow arrow stance. It is named also bow stance or mountain climbing stance. I will show you bow arrow stance which is used in Qigong and Tai Chi Chuan Yang traditional style. If you practice any other style, this stance might be taught and practiced differently. Bow arrow stance is used in martial arts as an offensive stance. In Qigong you practice this stance to learn how to align your body and to improve your posture and also to develop stability and stimulate the flow of Qi. Together with horse stance it can help you with back issues. This stance is useful for example when you want to turn your body from the frontal position to sideways and you are using it in a moving qigong when you step or walk forward. In a bow arrow stance one leg is forward and the knee is lined up with toes. Be careful to not push your knee too forward uh, if you want to keep your knees uh, unharmed. The front leg supports 60% of your weight. The big toe is pointing 10 degrees inwards. In this way your groin is a little bit more closed and protected and you are more stable. The rear foot is turned outwards at a 45 degree angle. The knee should be lightly bent. In some styles they keep it straightened. If you see the heel of the rear foot is roughly aligned with the toes of the front leg. It can be placed a little wider but uh, not too much to not expose your groin. The rear leg supports 40% of your weight and is firm and stable. It serves as a counterbalance to the front leg. Your mind shouldn't be focused only forward, which is young, but also backward which is in to keep the balance. Your shoulders and hips are pointing in the direction of the front leg. Your upper body is upright, centered and relaxed. And don't forget about the rope in the top of your head, which is pulling you up and you sink down with your weight. When we use also hands, for example, to push or punch, it is a common mistake to lean too forward, losing your center. To develop the right feeling not only for the center of your body but also for the connection of the whole body, it is useful to stand in this stance with eyes closed for some time. The same as in the case of horse stance, let's proceed gradually and practice regularly. I will show you a transition into bow arrow stance from a horse stance, which is often used in Qigong and also Tai Chi Chuan. You stand in a horse stance. Weight is equally distributed on both legs, 50-50. And first you transfer more weight on a rear leg. You turn your hips and at the same time you also turn the front foot on a heel to, for approximately 90 degrees or a little less. You start to transfer weight on a front foot and you turn your rear foot on toes to get a 45 degree angle. Don't forget that the toes or front foot are pointed slightly inwards. To return into a starting position, a horse stance, you move first your rear foot on toes into the starting position. Then you can transfer more weight on a rear foot and rotate your front foot on a heel to the starting position. The weight is again 50-50 on both legs. First you practice slowly, aware of each phase. Later this movement will become more connected and fluid. Adapt the length of your step to your capabilities so that you don't have to sacrifice your alignment. Make it shorter or longer. 
you will find bolero stance easier to practice if you are already familiar with horse stance. Practice this stance uh, first only with legs. Later you will combine this stance with uh, different movements which is more demanding. Nice practice and may the chip be with you.